it's summertime and I'm back here in one of the kitchens. Everybody's grilling these days. Okay, so I've got this wonderful uh, grilled corn. I roasted this on the grill. It's not hard to do. You take your uh, ears of corn, you soak them in a bucket of water, about 15 minutes or so, and you get a nice hot grill. You put them on the grill, cover the grill, let them cook. So these are my leftovers. I'm going to turn these into a wonderful corn relish and I'm going to show you just how to do that. So basically you select the ear of corn that you want to use and peel off the husk and the uh, the hair off it, get all this stuff off, okay? And you take the ear of corn and stand it up like this. A uh, sharp knife and just carefully go straight down the corn like so. This this is your uh, uh, corn kernels. And this is the basis of my corn relish today. This is a wonderful dish served with grilled fish. Uh, goes okay with chicken as well or just a side dish, turn it into a pasta or whatever you like. So that right there is a clean uh, ear of corn and this is all the good stuff here. Uh, I'm also going to take, besides corn, I'm going to take these baby peppers and just chop them up. Uh, kind of a rough chop and always when I work with these little peppers I remove the seeds and uh, the the pith as well just like this so this one's good to go okay I'll be right back okay wow this corn is super sweet when you select corn in the store try to find this uh, bicolored corn it's amazing now I got my pepper seeded and the pith removed I'm gonna take and just give them a couple of slices like this, chop them up, throw this relish together, and be on my way. Okay? This is always going to be better if it marinades uh, <clears throat> overnight or a couple days, and uh, it'll stay fresh for quite a while. I'm going to be adding some vinegar and olive oil and things to, to this as well. Okay, just like this. It's kind of a rough chop. The size is not that critical with something like this. It's just a, made to complement the fish. It's got to look nice. Okay, when you're uh, working quick in a kitchen, good idea to have a bench scraper. Mixing bowl right here. Bench scraper picks it all up. Picks it, puts it right into the uh, the bowl quickly and easily. Okay, just like that. It's all in the bowl. Now, I'm using a uh, rubber spatula. Just chop it up a little bit. Bust up that corn. I do like to leave a few larger pieces. It doesn't need to be really fine. So just about like this. All right, now in this dish, I'm gonna be putting uh, some dried cilantro. Okay. Some Szechuan peppercorns. Oh yeah, nice lemony flavor. If you don't know what these are, you've never tried them, check out the site. There's more information there. Sea salt. This is Hawaiian pink sea salt. Good stuff. Okay. Peppercorns. This is just a blend of peppercorns. I like pepper. A little bit of uh, soy sauce goes in here. Just a few drops like this. Okay. Extra virgin olive oil. Okay. And some golden balsamic vinegar. Okay, that's it. That's basically the relish right there. I'm going to mix it up, get all these flavors together, and then I will return with some grilled fish. And oh, man, this is going to be good. Of course, uh, when you're done preparing a dish like this, you know what to do, right? You must taste and adjust the seasonings. So you need to get all the ingredients together, just like if it was being served, like this. Oh, yeah, that's good. A little more salt. Thanks for watching. I'll be back. Have a wonderful day.
Mm-mm-mm. Okay, finishing up this uh, this dish here with a little bit of uh, plum tomato and the plum tomato we're just going to uh, slice it up here like this okay repeat Okay, and some fresh basil. Oh, look at that basil. Amazing stuff. Just going to do a quick uh, chiffonade. You just roll it up like this and slice it thinly like this. Okay, that's a basil chiffonade right there. And I'm going to assemble this plate now. Ah, the chilled corn relish. I'm going to put a little bit down in three spots. Like this. Grilled chicken breast. Some sliced tomato. And some of the basil chiffonade. Put it with the tomato actually. Okay. That's it. We've completed this presentation. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, and please support your sponsor. Again, that's ChefDepot.com.